Previously on Minecraft Dungeons. I only took two to three arrows to the head. Look at that. Look at my head right now. <laughs> well, it worked though. So there's that. All right, we've achieved victory. So yeah, in episode one, we survived the great zombie siege on our village. And now we've gotten to this point where we're able to access the overworld, the map. The world map? The overworld map? And there's a few different kingdoms over here. This kind of looks like where the main bad guy's boss is going to be. What is this? Island realms. Anyway, so we're here on the Squid Coast. We beat Creeper Woods, and then I went off and fought in the Creepy Crypt. And today I've got four maps. Now I'm going to choose one, but I want you at the beginning of this episode and also to take note at the end when we do beat the level and open up a few more to let me know which level we should play next. Now, as a fan of dwarfs and Lord of the Rings, we need to call it a mine. The redstone mines. Now what I like is that there's all of these different, it kind of tells you what's in there, right? So there's gear drops. This looks like a crossbow to me. And there's a few artifacts. But before we do that, hey, I found a chest with 50 emeralds. I'm rich. Now right now it seems that there's not a whole lot going on in the village. Uh, I haven't seen any like merchants or anything like that other than the main dude here. What's this? Hello, there's pigs in the house. So I'm sure this will fill out, but as of now, it's just one man, and I guess we do have a friends list. There's nobody there <laughs> to go off into the redstone mines. So it looks like there's a bunch of illagers that are harvesting redstone for some unknown reason. Oh, I love the story elements. And they call these mines? A Balrog. I've seen this movie before. Could brave the cavernous underground and uncover the truth. Well, we've got to uncover the truth. I, I think this is amazing. Now, in the last video, I was mentioning how I believe, you know, it's like, oh, Minecraft never really had, like, you know, a true story. And yes, they have story mode. But, like, you don't know where things come from. So I guess from a lore perspective, there's so many unanswered questions. You know, what are Endermen? Where did they come from? I mean, there's there's theory videos on YouTube with literally millions of views. What is that kind of spider? Oh, look at the little... Wait. Whoa, what's, what's over here? Something jumped. Aha! I was hoping we'd see somebody get hit by a minecart. Okay, good. My day has been made. And I'm, I'm sufficiently happy. But yeah, you don't know where the Endermen or like the Pigmen came from or how or why. And that's kind of what I was talking about with regards to, you know what, you want to see something cool? How about a firework arrow? Happy New Year, zombies, you're dead. So Minecraft Dungeons really is, wow, the, the cart hurts. It, it's a very good game. I'm very much enjoying it. Now you have to understand Diablo 2 was uh, a very enjoyable game. For me personally. I loved it, the dungeon crawling aspects to it. I've been playing Diablo 3 with some of my friends during this whole quarantine thing. And it's it's fun, but it didn't have like the impact that Diablo 2 had on me. This kind of reminds me of it. It's got elements of Minecraft, obviously. Let's go ahead and get these these emeralds, the currency of the game. Now, if I hold down right click, I get a power up my bow, which is a very cool effect. But it also has elements of like Zelda and then definitely Diablo and other dungeon crawler games like that. And it's just satisfying. And to think that this is Minecraft's, I guess what? I considered the second game, but I guess they also had like that story. Oh, is that what you mean by story mode? Oh, well, there you go. I've got another game to check out because I appreciate the lore. But needless to say, it's a lot of fun. The embargo's gone down. I want to say a big thank you to Microsoft Games for giving me a key early so I could check it out, play it, and show it off to you. Uh, obviously, oh, oh, he, he's brainwashed, and I kind of got him out, and then he disappears. He doesn't want to help me fight. Unfortunately, I'm not the leader of a revolution just yet. So these guys have crossbows. This is a new weapon system that we have not encountered enemies with just yet. Illagers with crossbows. So, free the villagers. There's three of them. One has been set free. Excuse me, sir, nice crossbow. And then there's the boss here with a giant ax. And my ax. 
And they also got what appears to be like leather armor. Oh my god, and their fire rate is insane. This this sounds like it's time for some fireworks. And so there you go. Like, look at the aesthetics of this game. It's the level design, I think, is a lot of fun. The dungeon level that I just went through had a tungeon a uh, tungeon? <laughs> That's a ton of dungeon! A tungeon, no, a ton of dungeon to crawl through. Hello, boys! There's dynamite! The effects are pretty cool. If you use dynamite, yeah, let's go ahead and heal up. Actually, we can't just... Well, there we go. There it is. Life, uh, finds a way. In each level, you're introduced to new enemies, but my bow and arrow is seriously so powerful. Ooh, look at this. See, there's so many elements that are brought in by Diablo. It's, it's crazy. And I'm not even sure if Diablo was necessarily the originator of these kind of tropes where it's like, hey, man. Or the little mechanics, like where you have to chase the gold goblin. Uh-oh! Get out of the dynamite range or we'll die. Look at this. We've got zombie Thermopylae. I am the Spartan warrior. And they are the enemies. I'm still trying to figure out what this these little spiders are all about. I'm not sure I've ever seen those things in Minecraft before. Minecraft, you know, proper 3D mode. Like, look, look at this map. Like, isn't that beautiful? Look at these mine shafts. Now, can I get in this minecart? Unfortunately, no. And I, I try to cover as much ground and all of the ground on the map as possible because you never know. There's multiple secrets that can be strewn around the battlefield. Oh, God. Uh, supplies. Yes, I would like supplies. This guy's name is the Evoker. <clears throat> oh, and he evokes fear. in my heart as I'm choking on an almond. Okay, he's got these little, like, bats. What were those things? All right, boss man, where are you at? He's summoning these little, like, children demons. Oh, God. Oh, wow, I was trying to, dude, what is, what is happening? This guy is no joke. Let's go ahead and turn on my little speedy boost and run into something like an idiot. And now I'm just gonna start smacking him up. All right, I gotta get out of here because death awaits me. But fortunately, look at that. I've got a few lives left. I took him down to 15% health. There are so many enemies, it's absurd. Luckily, I hit him with a charged up arrow and that seemed to do quite a bit of damage. I need to make sure I use that. Like, check that out. Look at this. I feel like Legolas going through these levels a lot of times. There's some explosions going off and people's bodies are flying at me. Hold on, was that a platinum weapon or a rare weapon? Like, look at... One of the other things I'd like to figure out... Whoa, 15 to 37, but this one does 16 to 47 damage. It's a twin bow, shoots two enemies at once. Let's try it out, though. Let's go ahead and kill the spawner here. Well, we leveled up, so I guess it did serve its purpose to be an XP booster there. Let's check the map. This one seems to be a little bit more... Linear in scope than um, the creepy caverns, which is the level I played off cam The game the, the beta has been out for a while and a lot of people played that level. Whoa, watch out for the redstone mine Hello there little dude. You always die before you're gonna do anything cool. I know I'm sorry, but you're the bad guy and I'm not Let's go ahead and get out of there Do some fireworks uh, run into something there Dang that guy does a ton of damage all right, this looks a little ominous. Oh, hey there, demon child. What is that? Oh, a redstone golem. So now we know what they're working on. Oh my God, I'm in lava. I'm on fire. Help me. Help me. I don't want to die. I'm too young. What's up, idiot? He is strong. Oh, snap, son. So he's off camera, but I, I can tell I'm hitting him because his health is going down. Oh, he smacked me. He's he's blocking me with these lava charges. Magma? Magma electricity? Fire like Oh, God. I'm, 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 I'm about to die. Ooh, juke him. Yes, we did. And then I caught fire. And then I died. Almost. Oh, he cornered me. But I do have one life left. There we go. Jeez. If that's what they're manufacturing in this mine, I tell you what, guys. Uh, we, we have a serious problem. Let's gather the souls. Yeah, the souls doesn't give me more. But it does charge this up. Boom! 
I will use your friend's souls against you. I feel like I'm a necromancer. Can I get a right click to necromance? Oh man, what a good game. If only it had ever come out. Now, sometimes there's secrets and stuff over here, but it doesn't appear to be so this time. Once again, take appreciation for just these beautifully sculpted and very atmospheric maps. Oh, Mojang. Slash Minecraft. The villagers are building a dreadful forge under the mountain. Oh, really? Go on. Well, we opened 100% of the chests, so I feel very satisfied with our venture today in the first mission. We're unlocking the demon chest here. Yes, go ahead and unlock yourself and, and show me what you got. A corrupted beacon. The corrupted beacon holds immense power within. It waits for the moment to unleash its wrath. So did that unlock any new maps? It did. The Fiery Forge. Cacti Canyon, Pumpkin. Well, we have got these, so it unlocked Fiery Forge. Now I'm wondering if I go into Cacti Canyon, will it unlock these ones? Or will they only lock in time? And this kind of shows you where we are in between which level we should be in. My power level of six indicates that, you know what, my friends? I like how we can do any of these levels at any difficulty we want. But I feel like we want a nice juxtaposition. After going into a giant mountain in deep mine shafts, I think a soggy swamp would be a nice, fun little romp. Gear drops, unknown. Well, hold the, hold the phone there, Billy Bobs. Did we get a crossbow in that map? I guess the beauty is you can go and replay it again. And also, I guess you can salvage these things, right? Whoa, what is that? A corrupted beacon. Fires a highly powered bean that continuously damages mobs. Okay, super lasers? Yeah, let's put that in there. And then I'm just gonna salvage everything else because we don't want it and we don't need it. Interesting. It's a very, I'd say at least right now, it seems like an overly simplified Econ uh, economy? Economic system? Market? Communism? Wait a minute. So these are the items I've opted to uh, save. And I've got a new power that we're going to show. So I guess we could go to the blacksmith and see, hey, make a trade. Oh, a power 10 hunting bow. Great. Wow. That's actually 17 to 44 damage versus 15 to 37. But this unique bow shoots two da uh, guys at once, which I kind of like. And my red snare actually does pretty nice damage. Actually, almost does as much as the... Yeah, see, this one has a strong chance for arrows to explode, which is why I have been enjoying that one. But it's time to take our talents down into the soggy swamps. Oh, it's a bunch of witch illagers, it looks like practicing the dark magics. This could be another kind of like castle siege type of experience. Let's see. I love the intros. A of wicked witches. Wicked witches. They conjure up all manner of bruise Let's to empower more, the more alliteration, please. Ever -growing army. Yes. If you don't find and defeat those witches, the illagers will be unstoppable. Well, but tread carefully. The swamp is home to many horrors. Ooh, are we gonna face new enemies here, potentially? All right, ooh, this one does seem to be a little bit more open-ended when you look at the map by pressing tab. Now, will we get lost in here? <laughs> Probably. And that zombie is the first casualty of war today. We're gathering these souls, I, I wanna... Whoa, it's a zombie baby, okay. Oh my goodness, did you see that? Okay. Okay, my super weapon is incredible. Now, it's also powered by souls. Okay. Whoa, there's like little islands that appear on the map, but they don't look like they're able to be reached. Now, why would they appear on the map if we can't get there? But yeah, Minecraft Dungeons comes out, I believe, Hold on, let me let me kill these guys and then I'll, I'll pull it up. I'm pretty sure it's the 26th. May 26th, so in four videos from when you're seeing this video because... Whoo! Hello, defenders of the villagers. You're fighting for the bad guys. And that means you die. Yeah, but like, there's so many 
curiosities in the Minecraft world. You know, like what they are. Where did zombies come from? Where did zombie pigmen come from? Where did pigmen come from? Skeletons, like why is everything alive? That should be dead. Ow! He just did some... Wait a minute. Did that just magnify my powers? I think since my bow splits, if I fire a firework archer arrow, it might actually fire two of them? We need to test that out. We'll test it out on those, uh, those slimy boys, because we're almost ready. Oh man, that's... You hear that sound effect? Okay, let's try it. Okay. Whoops. Alright, I've got it ready. I, I couldn't even tell. Oh my god, there's a lot of slimy boys. All right, we'll have to try that out when the targets are a little bit further apart, I think. Poisonous gas here in the swamp. Look at that little skull and crossbones. There should be a pirate faction in this. Don't you think? Imagine if ships and vehicles could work in Minecraft. I think this might be time for a super laser. Ah! <laughs> oh, wait. The slime was, like, on a lower level. Wait, that looked like a new weapon. Oh, a, a crappy sword. All right, so this is where we want to go. But in order to get there, we have to destroy the brews, and there are five of them. There's those gold old things. Hey! Stop that! You dirty swine! All right, we'll stop the perilous potion. It explodes. Poisonous gas goes everywhere. And a wizard pops out! Fireworks, baby! And if there's a lot of enemies, we'll, we'll try to super laser them. Oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know what's going on, but I'm getting wrecked. Now we need to gather more souls. I feel like if I'm gathering souls, like, this is one of those questions in the game you have to ask yourself. Hey, am I the bad guy? Because, like, that's some dark magic, don't you think? Wow, a creeper. We haven't seen one of those in a while. Oh, 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 God. We have to fight an enderman. Okay, look at my screen. This is the first time I've ever encountered an enderman. Well... Enderman, you're supposed to be very scary, but there's a dude with treasure actually want coming towards me. Oh, okay, he did teleport, but he's dead. Okay, you picked up a hunting bow and a ton of minerals. Minerals, why am I calling them minerals? Probably because I've been playing StarCraft 2 too much. Behold the souls. Who wants some of my super laser? That guy usually can like hit you and do a significant amount of damage, but... What's up, Zombos? You dead? Yeah, you are. What's down here? Oh, it's just another route. Ooh, yeah, there's the big guy with the axe. Okay, lasered. Thank you. Thank you for participating in my TED Talk. How to kill zombies using super weapons only. Alright, what about now? What do we got? Hello, wizard boy. Oh, yeah, these giant torches is like I was expecting some giant, like, tomb entrance. But now, there's a fork in the road and we have to choose where to go. But this little orange thing is usually a good indicator of if you're going in the right direction or not. But, that's normally when I go the other way because I want to explore all of the map. And now we'll be going the right way. It says go down there, but if you look on that little mini-map I pop up with tab, there's some more exploring to be done over here. And there's an Enderman. Okay, I was not exactly expecting this. Get lasered. Where'd you go? He was a lot easier when I could hit him and stun him with arrows, so let's try that again. Oh, ho, ho. I'm out of souls. There we go. That, that kind of helping. Oh, big yikes. Oh, big yikes. Yes! Alright, I picked up some daggers. Actually, that's a new weapon for me. They do four- that's a 14! 14 melee damage daggers are the weapons of Cravens. Or so folks say. Now, look at this. The speed at which they attack is considerably greater. I'm gonna stick- well, we'll try them out, but I still think I prefer my diamond sword. So we got to fight an Enderman boss. Or mini boss. Lots of boss fights in this, you know? And I want you guys to let me know if you'd like to see more Minecraft dungeons and even possibly a Minecraft series. What's in here? Actually, that was the way we were supposed to go. So there's a little bit of dungeon I, I guess I haven't explored just yet. Or there might be multiple exits. All right, so back out here, I believe we covered every little bit of that marsh. 
Zombie babies are attacking. Oh yeah, so when there's multiple targets, these daggers are actually quite effective. I actually really, really like it. It's very good with crowd control. Yeah, this is like a really well done swamp village. When you see stuff like this and how expansive it is, like I wish this stuff would pop up in real Minecraft, you know? My charged up arrow is, is, oh. It's gotta hurt. What is this? Oh gosh, this, this usually indicates you're about to have a boss fight, right? Is the music picking up or is it just my paranoia? <laughs> I don't know. We, we've reached some old castle temple thing. Ooh, a little chest down here. Zombie baby's trying to ambush me. Wait, how come I can't get out of here? Uh-oh. Am I in a trap? Oh. Wow. I was actually nervous. Let's see if I can snipe that dude. <laughs> Cheeky breaky. I love sniping the wizards and stuff even before they can see me. Definitely some old damaged castles over there. See, like, what if what if solving some of these puzzles would have you build stuff? I mean, that's that's part of like the classic Minecraft experience. It'd be an interesting little mechanic if they could find a way to do that. Like, get over there and there's actually like a hidden chest or something, or move, using your mining pickaxe. Like, th these things maybe in the game I just haven't experienced them yet, but I'm theorizing that they're not just yet. Little little zombie child. Got absolutely wrecked. Okay, there's a there's a chest on the map. Relatively nothing in that one. Not a very good chest. But yeah. Wait. Yep. Oh gosh. Get ready for a boss fight. Smash the cauldron. Okay. I can do that. Oh god, get out of the fire. Oh my gosh, get out of that fire. That was that was a little muy peligroso. It's exploding. Okay. I'm literally fighting a cauldron. I got my super laser. While it lasted. Oh god, look at it. Look at these slimes. I didn't know those were slimes. I thought those were like purple fireballs. And I know you guys are like, Baron, that's like super obvious, dude. And I'm like, yeah, man. Oop. But like... It's hard to see, you know, when there's so much going on here to the player. As the viewer, things get a little bit easier. Ah! I need my healing potion left. Whoa, that's a new zombie. There we go. I can't shoot down. That's cheeky. They they knew I was going to be... What if I just shoot arrows off camera? <laughs> cheeky! Alright, you know what? I'm going in. If we... If he dies, he dies. Kill it, kill it! Who's gonna die first? <laughs> I'm actually genuinely surprised that uh, he died first and not me. That one was looking uh, not so good for us. A perilous potion. There, there's something on the map up here. A little golden... Oh, it's the door. Okay, well, that, that would explain it. Victory! Potion supply is no more, and it'll be a long time before the witches recover from this blow. Yeah, because they're all dead. Okay, all the witches are dead. They can't really recover from death. Unless, of course, one of them's a necromancer and he managed to survive. But we've made it all the way up to level 10. And projectiles, look at that. 100% is hitting every shot. 129%. I don't know how you do that. It didn't let us know if we killed every enemy on the map, though, which was one of my personal goals for the map. But I feel pretty good about it. The totem of region. Now, this is something I'm talking about. This handcrafted wooden figurine radiates a warm, a warmth like that of crackling campfire, healing those who gather around it. That's cool. Something that can help me, you know, heal myself. Now, here's the key. Did we unlock another map? No, it does not appear to be so. So at this point, guys, I need your suggestions. Which map should we do next? The Fiery Forge, Cacti Canyon, or Pumpkin Pastures? I, 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 this one sounds the coolest to me. Anyway, thanks for watching another episode of Minecraft Dungeons. Thank you. I almost said Minecraft. Well, I guess to Mojang and Microsoft for giving me an early key so I could check this out and show it off to you guys. I'm enjoying it a lot, so I'd love to play more. Let me know if you'd like to see more. And I'll see you in the next video.